I gave her a dang beard. She gave you a beard. That was her. Because she's got the shadowing. <laughs> she done gave me a beard. I think that's a profile oh picture God. right there. <laughs> I think that's a prof pic. Today's the first day of our DC trip. It is July 2nd, 2016. We've got an awesome hotel room. Kyle and Molly and Heath are downstairs with breakfast. Pat's still in the shower, but we're pretty stoked. We're gonna go to the Capitol building today for a tour. We're gonna go to the Spy Museum and the Holocaust Museum. Pretty full day, and we're gonna get some breakfast to start it off right. <music> Thank you, Thank you so much. Awesome. Well, nice. We can kind of explore. Take care. Yeah. Thanks. So we just arrived at the Capitol building across the street now where the Supreme Court is held. We're going to take a quick look at that building before we go in for our tour and should be pretty cool. What do you think, Parbler? I think that we missed this the last time we came. I know, I don't, I don't feel like I remember even seeing it. I mean, it's something that's uh, really awesome to see. Yeah. And I can't believe that we didn't think about it the last time, but it's, I really, know. it's really cool. Yeah. Guys. Yes? I took a picture and I jj the sh out of it. Oh yeah, there you go. Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look at you. You JJing it. <laughs> Maybe JJ moment. JJ and Jar Jar. You doing well? I'm good. to go into the North Orientation Hall for a presentation of some kind and there's a ton of people behind us back over there. I'm not sure what that presentation's for. I'm just assuming it's another. They didn't get no early tickets. That's what it is. No early tickets. Gary Boswick, he uh, plays FDR. Oh, yeah, really? And there's a part where he, when he gets polio, he's like, he's like, I got the polio legs. And he pulls his, his like little blanket back and it's his these little noodle legs and they just go, <laughs> they just oh, shake. through an underground tunnel from the Capitol building over to the Library of Congress to see what books they have in store for us. I hope they got some good ones. I'm looking for like a really good John Grisham novel. Quick review of the Library of Congress, guys. What'd you think? Well, it's amazing to think that those Bibles that are being preserved now were in existence for hundreds of years without today's modern preservation techniques. Yeah, I agree. What do you think, Molly? Are you uh, impressed? Hey, I was impressed. Excellent book collection on 40, 40 great American reads. Uh, warm nice my heart. Felt like I was amongst friends. I liked it. it
We're going to face swap with Alexander Hamilton right now. Yes, you are. When the face bop. Face bop? That's like kid bop. Don't face mop. <laughs> no face bopping going on. We don't. Here. Well, that's beautiful. That's just, just the world's greatest. Oh, yeah. So noble. <laughs> finished up at the Holocaust Museum. What did you think, Pat? Uh, that was a pretty intense experience, but I think if you come to DC, you probably should make an effort to get in there and go. Agreed. It was uh, pretty humbling, pretty poignant. What did you think, Heath? It's, uh, it's very moving. I think, I th like I said, the, the news of Ellie Wiesel's death coming literally midway through the tour of the museum kind of put it all into a little bit more perspective and kind of made it hit home a little bit a little bit harder it's hard it's hard to put into words it really is yeah